topics to be covered are measure of central tendency dispersion, what the data look like, what is the histogram of the data, how data is spread, what is the range of the possibility of occurrences, review of basic probability concepts, either probability is dependent, independent, events are exclusive, mutually exclusive, not exclusive, discrete or continuous random variable, occurrence may be in terms of number of defectives, number of persons infected or it may be in terms of the level of hemoglobin, size of the table, size of the chair, all these possibilities are there. Then mathematical expectancy, companies producing like uh, n number of items, so how many would be defective? This is a kind of expectancy which is nothing but the weighted average of the successful occurrence based on the respective probability of occurrence. Some of the standard probability distributions like binomial, poison, normal distribution, sampling distributions, source and sample relationship with respect to t-distribution, chi-square, f, confidence interval and level of significance. Estimation of the source properties in terms of mean and variances, hypothesis testing for making a choice among the alternatives available. Linear regression analysis fitting the curve, for example, you want to see the effect of one parameter on the other. So, how these two parameters are related, whether linearly, or whether curve linearly or logarithmic, what kind of relationship is possible based on the, the lesser value of the cumulative error. Now, I want to recommend a book for detailed learning of the topic which I selected for you guys. That is Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists by Walpole. This book is not very much in driving the formula or kind of relationship, but it is more towards applying the knowledge of probability and statistics in the, in the field. That is why I have selected this book. I hope you would find it interesting and the topics I will discuss, I will pick up the problems from the book so you can practice more problems and more will be, uh, more help will be available on this. On successful completion of the course, I expect you to have following capabilities which we call course outcome. After taking this course, what we expect the students or what we expect learners to be able to present the data with the statistical point of view, compute probabilities based on real life problems, apply the standard discrete or continuous probability distributions for industrial or scientific applications, and then performing the hypothesis testing for the data so that they can make better choices as having more relate the experimental output output based on the regression analysis so that you can give a formula which can possibly predict what is going to happen if the level of the input parameters have been changed. That is all uh, we wanted to cover in this. With this I would say that I did get a lot of time for making you aware about the introduction of the probability and statistics. I hope this course will keep you keep your interest alive and I want to have your interest in probability and statistics because it is the more closest subject to your real life occurrences. You want to get up morning at 8 o'clock but the probability is that you might get up at 7.55 or you might get up at 8, 8 or 5 past 8. So probability gives you the understanding of what the range of possibilities are. That's why we say that it's a source sample relationship. If the quality of source is good, sample is good. So we have to work on improving the source. Okay, see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you very much.